Oh man, I'm excited because I'm about to show you something that literally changed my life, changed the course of our company, changed the, the course of our employees' lives and is now touching so many lives out there around the world. Because of this experience, when I looked at everyone, I thought to myself, we're going to change the name of my company from Titan America Manufacturing to Titans of CNC because everyone can be a Titan of CNC. You just got to have that grit, that tenacity. You got to put the work in and get after it. Once this project that you're about to see was complete, we took everything that we had built, all of the curriculum, we put it online for free and we created our academy. But this is how it started. Boom. I started in prison and God took me on this crazy journey and took me back into prison. Get a park in the warden spot. <laughs> How does that happen? How does that happen? Most guys who have that type of experience, not only is it surreal, coming back if you're doing the right thing. No one ever wants to come back. Uh, and so for us, it was interesting to get this guy who was willing to, to come back in and say, you know what, I wanna give back, I wanna help somebody. So you sent in a letter and you made the first cut. You been in here for a while? Uh, since I was 20. Took a man's life drunk in an alley. Getting an altercation with a gentleman one night who threatened to shoot me and shoot my mother and came over to my house and resulted in me shooting him. I learned these skills so when I get out, I could use them. I got kids out there I gotta try to take care of. Were you nervous coming in here? Oh, very. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> do you want it? I do. That's what I'm doing today. Now I believe in myself. Do you see yourself changing your life and see yourself walk in the walk, can you visualize yourself as that guy? All the time, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I mean, uh, you did it. For the first time, what I did in the past can now be used for good. I walked right into my destiny of what I was supposed to do in life. But on my own, I could never figure it out. To be successful, they need to learn a trade, go out, get a job, and keep that job. We have a machine shop that's not even being used right now. CNC machining saved my life. And all I want to do is help them get the same second chance that I did. We have to create a program to make you valuable so you can walk out and get a good paying job. Now we're looking at the shop, trying to decide what should we do. That one's gone, gone, gone. Titan is an expert in CNC machine. I'm an expert in remodeling, and we're gonna make this brand new machine shop come alive. We're gonna get rid of the old machines. We're gonna bring the best technology available, and we're going to build an elite manufacturing facility right inside the prison. I'm in mean, prayer and I truly believe that that's what he wants me to do, not that I want to do it. I get to speak at different schools, conventions all across the nation. I get to go to all these amazing companies. I actually run a job shop where we're making the most difficult parts imaginable my entire life experience has brought me to this point, Titans of CNC Academy. We're lacking industrial schools, we're lacking teachers, we're lacking curriculum. So that is the vision. It's not just about building a school in San Quentin. It's about using the entire foundation to inspire a nation. All you have to do is listen to me and do what I tell you to do in the video and you will know how to run these machines. You know, I'm a good man. I got a lot to offer. Designed, Designed it, it cam, machined it. Apart. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and load the machine. 
And now you're holding it in your hand. And this is the finished product right here. I've only been here for about a month and a half. Six weeks. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. For 20 years, I haven't seen this type of hope. I consider myself lucky if I'm given an opportunity to get out. It's just on you whether you choose to change or you don't, you know? That's what rehabilitation is about. We would create a school right in front of the world so they could learn from it and copy the template. It won't be talking about my past. You're talking about my future. Each and every one of us can see ourselves walking in footsteps like Titan. I consider him a friend, and this is somebody that's coming in and really wants to show how much he wants to help. He always reminds us that if I can make it, you can make it. And it clicked like, yeah, of course I could do it too. Me, I never really talked to white boys before I came to this prison. So when I started engaging with him, he was like, put his arms around me, shook hands and all that stuff there. It was like, hey, this is a dude from the outside. I see a person, you know, a very good person. So when he did that, it, it was, it was, uh, I felt like I was worth something. It was like the best thing that could happen. He can relate to what it feels like when, you know, times when, he, when people die and you're not there for your family and you feel like a, a loser. And I know that he can relate to that. We do have a lot to offer if someone is willing to believe in us. And that gives us the tool to kind of believe in ourselves. San Quentin Machine Shop, yeah! He is the perfect person to somebody like me. Today I am at absolute peace, his path is right where I'm supposed to be. But I don't know what's gonna happen. But he does, and, and I'm good with that.